The bells at the Utah State Capitol ringing out this afternoon, paying tribute to the 1,507 Utah lives lost to COVID-19 so far. It was an emotional moment for the families left behind, some of whom made their way to the Capitol grounds to hear the bells firsthand. News specialist Alex Cabrera was there with one family and joins us now live with what the tribute actually meant to them. Alex? And Mike, they were definitely emotional, and it was the full range of emotions, everything from sadness that their loved one died from coronavirus to happiness and gratitude. He was one of those being remembered today. People come to see the Utah State Capitol for all sorts of reasons, but Courtney Aldis and her family came here to listen. I'm glad that they're doing this for all the Utahns that we've lost. You see, her father, Ken Kirkman, was 74 years old when he died this past May. He was one of Utah's early victims of COVID-19. This is really neat. This is really special. My family's grateful. We're grateful that the state has done this. And what the state did this afternoon was ring the bell on top of the Capitol 15 times to remember the 1,500 Utahns who died because of coronavirus. It's a war. It's a war where... We're uh, fighting, we've been fighting, and we have these victims. Karen Kirkman got coronavirus and was hospitalized at the same time as her husband. It's also where she said goodbye to him. My husband, I remember laying in the hospital and thinking, watching the news, and thinking, oh, please, I hope it doesn't go to 60. Her husband was among the first 60 to die in Utah from this virus. Now there's 1,500. It's just so, so sad. But for all the emotions that Kirkman's felt today, one of them is happiness that their father and those who died because of this virus are still being remembered. And I know other people, other families out there feel the same way that I do about those that they've lost. And so this is a really special thing that they're doing. I'm grateful. Now, the order to ring those bells was from Governor Spencer Cox, who said, we will never forget the heavy toll this deadly virus has taken in this state, and we pray for comfort and peace to the families and friends left behind. Mike? Yeah, like him, our hearts break for all those families who have been affected. Yeah.